Hello farmers and welcome back to Western Australia. We're in the grass field again. <laughs> uh, but this time, uh, before I started cutting the grass, I did a little bit of calculations and I think we have more than enough hay to get to the next cut. So, I decided to go ahead and make pink marshmallows throughout the entire field, or aka silage bales. Uh, these should be ready in three months which is at the perfect time for selling said silage. Currently we have, uh, I just looked at the stock market page, we got about a quarter of a million dollars worth of silage bales. So if you add that with what we got here, well, it's going to be a pretty darn good payday for silage bales in three months. Uh, another thing I want to go over, uh, someone just left a comment on last episode as I'm getting ready to re record this one, about the crop rotation mod. Uh, they said they couldn't find it on the mod hub. And I was like, well, I'm pretty sure I got it off the mod hub. So I went to my mods, uh, my mods description, and the link is uh, the link is down below for my mods that I use. And I was like, oh, crop rotation right there. And the web, you know, the, the web address was Giant's website. So I clicked on it, and um, yeah, it said mod not found. So then I searched the mods for crop rotation, and I couldn't find it either. So if anyone knows uh, what happened to the mod or why it's not on the Giants website, uh, let us know in the comments below. And for the one that asked for the crop rotation mod, I'm pretty sure if you just Googled Farming Simulator 22 crop rotation mod, you can find it probably on third party websites. Uh, I'm not gonna give any links or anything like that because I'd like to give credit to the mod author themselves and sometimes the third party websites as we know uh, those mods are could be stolen um, or could have who knows what in the file that you're downloading. So, uh, you know, go at your own risk for that. So, yeah, for the crop rotation mod, if anyone knows a good link uh, for the mod author themselves or why it was removed from the website, I would be kind of interested to know that as well. Uh, the other thing, uh, as of last episode... And it was still in the sale page as I looked this a little while ago. Was the New Holland T9 tractor? Now the people that have left comments so far, everyone's saying get it now. Um, so there were a few ways to get it. Let me just move that pink marshmallow out of the way. Uh, one person suggested selling one of our tractors that we currently have and getting the T9. Uh, that option is kind of out the window. Uh, for one thing, as you can see our setup here in the case Magnum with the mower setup, I need a three-point leakage on the front for this mower setup. Uh, the T9 does not have a three-point leakage on the front. So the, selling the case Magnum is out of the question. I need the case Magnum to do the mowing. Then I thought, well, the Massey Ferguson. What can I get for the Massey Ferguson? Well, the Massey Ferguson doesn't quite cover the entire cost of the New Holland T9. But then I got to thinking, wait a minute. I need the Mar Massey Ferguson for the baler because the John Deere 6230 does not have enough horsepower to run our baler. So doing what I'm doing now, which we do a lot of grass work as we know, I need these two tractors. So that means, well, maybe getting rid of the John, John Deere 6230 and for the money I'm going to get for that and what I need the 6234, well, it's not worth selling that either. So, selling one of our tractors to get the T9 New Holland is kind of out of the question. And then, someone else did mention, well, just, you know, borrow the money and get the tractor now because it is, like, 60% off. And uh, I thought about that, and it's like, you know what, I need the money for other things. Uh, it's kind of an old saying I go back to, I've said a few times in my Let's Plays, is you got your wants and your needs. Do I want the New Holland T9? Yes, I do. Do I need it? Not right now. No, we don't. The, getting the New Holland T9 right now, that tractor is not going to be able to do anything that we currently can't do on the farm. Down the road, yes. Uh, another thing I was looking at is what engine was in the New Holland T9. And I don't want to say it's just the 500 horsepower tractor. So here's the tractor that we're looking at. Uh, yeah, no three-point leakage on the front, so I wouldn't be able to mow the grass with it. Um, which would seem kind of weird, uh, but 517 horsepower. I'm not saying that's not a lot, that is, but for the future of our farm, we're probably going to need more than that. So if I wanted to put the bigger engine into it, 
uh, let's just, just go for the biggest, 682, that would bring the price up to 253. And yeah, I could, I definitely would be better off, you know, saving that money and then buying more land. Um, that is definitely a better option for us. All right, so the worker, we don't need them anymore. But what I do need to do, <laughs> a couple of them. So it wasn't just my my case tractor. The Massey Ferguson, if you look at the fuel, it's flashing orange, which means I need fuel. So while that's fueling up, you may have noticed in whoop, uh, may have noticed in the case Magnum, that fuel gauge is blinking in the orange as well. Uh, yeah, we need fuel, and we need fuel. Whoop. Was watching the upper right-hand corner to see if I was still buying fuel, and we were. Um, as for the grass field right now, yes, we got all the bales out there. Uh, do I need to clean up the grass field? A little bit. There's some areas I need to clean up, but I'm not going to worry about it too much today. Uh, I may take care of it the next time we cut the grass. I really just want to get to... Uh, getting to the sugar cane, which will happen, should be in April. Uh, so once we just, I want to go up to the corner where the grain mill is with the baler. Clean up that area as best I can because that is where the sugar plant is going to go. That will cost us $100,000. So that 168000 and declining right now. <laughs> um, 100000 of that has got to go to the sugar plant, which we will need ASAP. Because uh, once we start doing the sugar cane, that's where it's got to go. Because I have no place to put the crop whatsoever. Uh, then that will leave us... Well, we'll probably end up having, after we place the sugar plant down, because we got loan payments to make overnight, uh, we're probably talking about roughly about $150,000. Uh, sorry, uh, $50,000 after we put the sugar plant down. And we're going to need about... I want to say probably thirty to 35000 for leasing the forage harvester <laughs> big expenses and the header for getting the sugar cane out of the ground so I need every dollar and we're not making any money I'm not doing any contracts so that's out the window and I don't have anything to sell currently other than the silage bales which I want to hang on to until uh, late June early July now let's head on down here and we'll pick up the grass down here in the corner like I said, you're going to see little bits here and there. The grass is not going to decay or anything like that. I hope that's a thing in FS25. Uh, fingers crossed. I would like, I would prefer that myself to see that happening. But right now, this grass will stay there as long as I leave it there. I do need to pick up the bales as well, but there's just a couple down here I need to pick up. They can stay in the field. Uh, we are approaching winter, so the grass is not going to... I'm not going to be mowing the grass now until maybe December? Does that seem right? Maybe maybe before that. Could be November. I kind of forgot. All right, we'll just pick this up as best as we can. Just remember each of these bales is roughly about just shy of 50,000 liters. So you start adding up the amount of bales that we have and how many, are, how many liters are in each one. Actually, we can do it. Look right now, if I go to my um, stock market page, we got over a million liters of grass, which means that's our old bale. So we can kind of look at this. Uh, we got one point, we'll just say 1.3 million liters of silage, and that should get us roughly about 244,000. So we're just a little bit shy of that. So let's just say this is going to, eventually when this ferments, we're probably looking like at 215, maybe 220, so almost a half million dollars worth of silage that we're going to be selling in just a few months so the money will be coming in and I would like to buy another field like I said uh, expanding the farm with the amount of fields that we have is better because as you saw last episode when we harvested the canola what we got for it if I had another field to harvest I can get that much money in as well that's great that's what we need to be doing but I'm hoping we get a good amount of sugar cane off this field. I have no idea what to expect. I don't even want to throw a number out there because I, I really don't know. Um, if it's less than 300,000, I'll be really disappointed. And if it gets above a half million, I'd be excited. Although, if it gets above a half million, I think the sugar processing plant can handle 
a half billion. So if I get more than that, I either got to sell the sugar cane or I do... Do I have the mod installed? Let me just see if I got the mod installed. That's going to be silos. I think it's going to be under silos. Um... Oh yeah, it's right here. I'm looking right at it. Uh, this one is for beetroot. That one is for grass and hay. Carrots and parsnips. Sugar cane and sugar cut. Um, that holds 600,000 liters. It only costs 14,000. So, I mean, if we go way over 500,000, then it'd be worth it to put in the silo. Alright, I think we're all set for now. And yes, it's. I know some people are going to be like, you should have bought the new Holland T9, but as I said, that getting that tractor is not going to allow us to do more on the farm currently than what we already have for tractors on the farm. And really, I can't see getting rid of any of these three tractors where it's going to, it's actually going to hurt us <laughs> rather than help us. So yeah, and that money, I think I could definitely use it towards something else uh, moving forward. And maybe we'll get lucky, maybe in three months' time or whatever it is when we sell the silage. Maybe another T9 will come up for sale. And, I mean, it's not going to be that much better of a deal. Oh, yeah, that, that one that is for sale, it's got like 40, 45 hours on it? 45.3. So that's quite a bit in farming simulator terms. I don't want any farmers coming at me saying, 45 hours? You're just barely breaking in the engine. Yeah, I know that. Uh... Yeah, so I know our grass field needs to be fertilized. I know I got to pick up the straw, uh, the straw bales, yeah, the silage bales. But I really just want to get to the sugar cane because I, I need to I need to know that total. And yeah, we need to get the plant down. We need to get everything going to start bringing in the money. Uh, let's fast forward some time here because I do want to keep my eye on the store page. Like I said, if a forage harvester comes up for sale, that would be better money well spent currently because we don't have one. Let's squeeze through the door here. Let's get into here. Uh, April should be the first month for sugarcane. And I do believe I planted it the first month. So sugarcane here. Yep, sugarcane in April. That is what we're looking for. Oh, wheat. Uh, All right, I either needed to plant it this month or next month. Well, I guess it's going to be next month at this point. Yeah, I don't want to uh, get... I want to make sure I got the money for the sugarcane. Which we should have. Alright, some items are going off the list. And nothing there other than the T9, which I do have interest in. But, you know, we've been over that. So, I need that to get off the list. Actually, you know what? Wouldn't it be too bad if it stayed there? If I can afford everything next month and I got enough money left over and it looks kind of good. Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe I'd be tempted enough to buy it. Uh... An ideal harvester, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a forage harvester, and it's not the uh, John Deere harvester that we're looking to buy for the farm in the future. So, uh, 7 o'clock at night, I think uh, we can go ahead and sleep for the night now. I will sleep to 5, get up early. In that case, you know, if the store does change, I don't want something to show up and then disappear before 8 o'clock in the morning when I usually wake up. All right, so we're down to 150, which is... Uh, pretty much where I thought I would be. I know I said 50, but $100,000 has got to go towards the sugar factory. Well, the T9 is still there, uh, but we need daylight. So let's speed up some time. And is the sugar cane field ready for harvest? Uh, it is. It says remove foliage, which is uh, what we'll be doing. No more space for wool. Kind of forgot about the sheep and the wool. Uh, all right, the sun is up. 7 o'clock in the morning, we can slow down time. And we'll just double-check the store page. All right. Well, the New Holland is still there. So, maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, let's grab the Massey Ferguson real quick. Uh, we'll drop off the baler. I think the... Low loader, the auto loader is over here. We'll load the wool up. Yeah, and someone didn't mention that with the amount of sheep that we're going to have, the spinnery is not going to be able to keep up. Yeah, I do realize that. Uh, but the spinnery is just there to help us make more money from the wool. The sooner we get it, the better, the more we'll profit from it. 
Uh, any excess wool, well, we'll just have to go ahead and sell when uh, we get the opportunity to do so. Alright, we'll leave that there. Yep, they got food. They got. They should have plenty of water. Oh, and then uh, someone did, uh, not last episode, but a few episodes ago, did ask, uh, other than cows and sheep, uh, any other animals? I, I would like to have the uh, some chickens running around the farm. Just because I want to use the Expandable Pastures mod for it. That way the chickens can be free-ranging everywhere around the farm. Alright, well drop this down here and I'll start picking up some of the bales but mainly in the corner we're going down to the corner to put in the sugar factory and like I said that'll leave us with about 56,000 if I remember correctly it should be 100,000 for the factory and then uh, we got at least a forage harvester I'm probably going to go uh, we'll see what the difference is. Uh, I would like to go with the cheapest to save myself the money currently. But a forage harvester with a little bit more horsepower, if the price difference isn't that much, maybe I'll just say, well, let's go ahead and get the get the larger one. I don't believe it's going to take us more than an hour to do this because one, it's not that big of a field, and two, we're not transporting far either. We're just going to be going from that field here to right where we are, that's where the sugar plant's going to be, so. Don't have fire to transport at all. Let's see, these should only be about, I would say, 25% fermented. 29% fermented. And what are they again? 49, 49,500 per bale. I mean, you saw the totals just a little while ago. All right. We're going to turn this off right here. After that pushes it back. All right. That's fine right where it is. All right. Let's go ahead and go to construction mode, production buildings. Uh, now I gotta find sugar production mod. Yep, this is what we're looking for. Yep, 100,000. Uh, spin us around this way. Spin this around like so. I want to make sure I leave myself some room in the back. So we can go around the building. And try not to take up as much of the grass field as possible. Do I want it this way, though? Yeah, maybe I'll spin it around this way. There it is. <laughs> Alright, so we're all set. There's there's the uh, sugar processing plant. That's what we need. Same one as we're using on Hills of Tuscany. So it is going to make some byproducts, which we can go ahead and sell. Originally, was going to make TMR with it. But it's like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and we'll we'll sell it straight up. So we're going to be doing uh, sugar cane. I think it's going to be this right here, right? should be the sugar cane. I don't know how to do... All right, I don't need cane sugar. I just, I just want sugar. Yes, okay. Um, wait, are we out of wool down at the spinnery? The spinnery went through all that wool? I can bring some more down to you. Um, yeah, so this will be making. Of course, we'll be making some sugar. And we'll be making, let's see, what is that? Uh, we'll be making, I don't know if that, how this is pronounced, bagasse or bagasse. Uh, cane juice as well and cane sugar. Oh, sorry, not cane sugar. Uh, just cane juice, uh, bagasse, and molasses. We can sell these three and the sugar that we get. Uh, so we're going to be getting half of what we put into. It's not like, uh, well, I guess Sugar Beet was doing the same thing. All right, well, it is what it is. It should be kind of interesting. And I don't know how much sugar we're going to need over here for our products. All right, so with that being done, let's go ahead and I'll just, just double check here. All right, so you're still there. All right. Um, <laughs> let's go in and forge harvesters. So the cheapest, the better, right? That's 626 horsepower. 
That's 650. Well, it's cheaper and more horse. No, sorry. I'm wrong there. That's 25 more horsepower. That's why it's more expensive. Um, if I were to lease this, that's 19.4. Is it worth the $500 for 25? It's still not going to have as much horsepower as we need. Uh, what's the horsepower that we need for this header? Let's scroll on down. Where where art thou? Uh, oh, no, there it is right here. Uh, 750. Well, we know we need this. Uh, we'll lease it as is. I won't bother changing any colors. 6120. Um, well, I do like tracks. So we'll go ahead and lease this in as cheaper. All right, let's go down to here. So that leaves us with 31000 in the bank account. Oop. To the side. There we go. We got it. That car is this... <laughs> Well, there's two ways to look at it. It's either well-placed or not well-placed. It's either well-placed to be in the way, or it's just not well-placed. Depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, how are we doing down here with the fabric? Well, we got three pallets. But when do we sell the pallets? I kind of forgot when we sell the pallets. Uh, what am I looking for? Stock market page. Fabric. That sells in November. All right, so I mean, right now we currently got $15,000 worth of fabric. That's not too bad. All right, let's get to the sugarcane field and we'll start doing the sugarcane harvest. Don't want to hit any traffic. Make sure I'm in the left lane. Kind of funny when I drive in third person, 25 miles an hour down the road, seems like an okay speed, uh, but the second going cab, we start to realize it, it it's moving down the road at a pretty good pace. The one thing I just got to remember is that the street signs, uh, well, they will win the battle with us. Uh, we cannot knock them over. The one thing that does kind of suck a little bit is uh, the meter is currently running on the on the harvester, just driving up here. But yeah, I don't think it's going to take us too long to get this harvested. All right, let's uh, put the pipe out, unfold the header. Okay, what I need to do is I'm going to turn the engine off because I do need to get this set up a little bit. Uh, yeah, we want the case. And of course, we need our trailer. Hopefully we fill it up rather fast. So I'll be doing the carding, of course. And one of the Franks will be in the forage harvester. Cutting up the sugar cane. Silage additive will not work. Or at least last time I did it. On no man's land years ago. Uh, will not work. That only works if you're cutting grass. Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves a worker set up here. Uh, field position is this one here. And we want to go clockwise. Um, one tool. Let's do three headlands and we'll do 5% overlap, I guess. Actually, that might be too much. 2% um, should be fine. Set up a course. 
Right, it's kind of got it set up going there, but... We'll get it into the field. Let me get my trailer a little bit closer. I don't want to lose any sugar cane if I can help it. So when I did testing, the, the header should be able to harvest at uh, six miles an hour. Um, but since we're lacking on the horsepower, well, it may only be at five miles an hour. So in case you're kind of new with sugarcane, and sometimes I feel like I am as well because I don't, you, you know, it's a crop I don't really dabble too much in. Um, this will regrow for another two more years. So we don't have to replant this field. Sugarcane should grow right back in it next year and the following year also. And holy crap, we are filling up with sugarcane. <laughs> um, that silo, I, I may need that silo. And here's the tricky part. That silo is 14,000. Okay, that would take half my money. Which is, you know, it's okay, but I'm also made, I'm going to kind of need that to possibly pay for if I'm here more than an hour. I don't know what the hourly fee is on this harvester, but. All right, this is looking good. We, we didn't even get, I don't know, 10% around the headland. Uh, is this a timber trailer? Uh, I don't remember if this is a tipper trailer or not. If it is... Uh, it is a tipper trailer. Alright, so we gotta... Just kind of make sure we don't... Modders. Uh, any modders watching this video, when you make drop-off points like this, tipper trailers, uh, make us... Give us some room here. Okay, I kind of, I'm kind of out of the zone. Alright, it's kind of clipping the roof, but we can make it work. I don't know if I got the option... No, I don't think this has a slide bed on it. Let me see what the options are for tip side. So we got tip side back. Tip side grain door. Tip side back. So, yeah, there's a little... If you know what the grain door is, that's that little tiny door in the back that you can probably unload. And that would be for, like, if you're using a silo that requires an auger to fill it. All right, and probably what I should do, I know I got a worker going and the clock is uh, currently running on the, on the, um, uh, the harvester. I want to go ahead and activate that. Uh, sugar, we want to... Distribute the sugar and the molasses, uh, bagasse, and cane juice. We will sell that wherever. Yeah, I'm trying not to take another loan currently. That's why, you know, the New Holland T9, it's tempting. But like I said, I'd rather take the money and buy more uh, land to earn us more money. the time scale down to one uh, that does not save me time on the harvester what it will do though is slow down in game time of course and possibly leave that new holland t9 there uh, probably the longer i try to keep it there to make up my mind the more it's going to tease me and then temptation is going to give in and i'm going to go ahead and buy it because um yeah this this going back because uh, people have asked me before what's your favorite tractor and it's always been the new Holland T8 because that's going back to Farming Simulator 15. That was my first like real big tractor that I bought because we didn't have any choices back then. And then uh, I went ahead and bought, upgraded those tractors, the T9. So they have a they have a special place in my heart. So <laughs> when they come up, it's like I like them because it just brings me back some memories of uh, the old Bjornholm days. 
I'm guessing we're going to go over the hour on the harvester. Maybe not. Maybe once we get into a rhythm here, it will go well. But yeah, we are filling up this trailer rather quick. But this is that, that's good. Uh, that's just going to mean more sugar and more products being made in our other factory, which I will activate that stuff here in a little while. Uh, why are we not... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Am I too far to the right? I think I kind of remember that on the hills of Tuscany. There we go. Trigger is more towards the building. Don't get me triggered by not allowing me to put my sugar cane in there. All right, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a little bit of a ongoing thing. Oh, keep, just keep unloading. That's all I care. Just keep unloading. <laughs> we'll worry about the damage to the roof in the trailer later on. Let's just get the sugar cane in there. I do like the looks of the sugar factory and what it does and the, the entire mod itself that I'm using on Hills of Tuscany, but the roofs, the low roofs over the drop-off points always get me sometimes. Oh, the worker turned off. I keep forgetting the, the course play worker turns off the engine when you get far enough away from it. So the hour meter should not be running on the harvester when I uh, when I go to unload so we'll have to see how many leaders we actually get out this field I think it's uh, going to be pretty clear that I'm probably going to have to buy the, the silo for the sugar cane and why put it down at the farm? I might as well just put that silo right out here because all I'm going to do with the sugar cane I'm going to put in the silos, I'm just going to bring it over to the sugar factory. So we can just put it right out here. I mean, we're, we're already over 100,000 liters coming out the field. We've only, haven't even done half a headland, I don't think. <laughs> no yes <laughs> that's what we want just keep unloading all right so not the perfect trailer but you know when i when i bought the trailer way back when i wasn't thinking that far ahead and i was trying to find trailers i have not used So the uh, sugar cane that gets missed, I will try to get it after we finish. Unless the harvester is just barely under an hour and I don't want to go over the hour, then I'm not going to bother. Because the amount of sugar cane we're getting, you know, we got, we're going to have plenty of it. But I do need to get that wool down to the spinnery as well so I can get processed. Oh, I keep thinking, <laughs> uh, my brain's not thinking. Um, my brain's half thinking and not thinking. What I'm, what I'm <laughs> processing my brain right now is, when I looked at the sale price for fabric, I said, oh, it, the best price is November. Well, we can sell that very soon because my brain is also remembering that we are approaching winter, but we're only in April, not <laughs> Not the months I'm used to, so we got yeah we got a ways to go before the fabric is being sold. So not really a rush to get it down there. Yeah, this this may take over an hour just because of all the carving I got to do. My 
I think what we're going to do here is let's go ahead and we'll unload this. Um, let me go ahead and dismiss the worker in the harvester. So the meter's not running and it shouldn't be running. Uh, let me get back into... Yep, let me get back into you and hopefully we can unload this. All right, maybe I just got to let the trailer come all the way down and then unload it. We're going to have to keep doing that. So, I think what I'm going to do, because it's going to take a while, I am going to harvest uh, the sugarcane field mostly in between episodes. And we'll finish it up at the beginning of the next episode. We can kind of see what we got. Um, I wonder if I should just put down the silo now, because I, I, we're going to need it. Uh, let's face it, we're going to need it. Haven't been around a headland yet, and how much we got in there? 155,000 liters out of 500,000. Um, I don't know. I, uh, here's a thought that came to my, my mind, because I know how these silos work. Uh, let's see if I can find... Oh, clicked right on it. So basically, what you do, of course, you put the sugar cane in that side and the output is out the back could I <laughs> could I put it like that so when I put the sugar cane in I, I don't think it's going to reach the trigger all right we're not we're not going to do that um yeah no money we got money it's only 14,000. There we go. Um, just trying to figure out how I want to put this. guess it doesn't really matter how I put this. Uh, probably should put it this way. Uh, so sugar cane there. I was kind of hoping I could put sugar cane in either one, but I, you know, I guess I guess I can only use this side here. But this will hold six hundred thousand. We're going to need it, so so be it. Uh, yeah. So what I want to do now is I need to come over here and grab the sixty-two thirty John Deere. Uh, what I will do is we're going to come into our factory here, apricot jam. Uh, we'll activate that plum jam. Ketchup, which takes tomatoes, cucumbers, and apples? Oh, did I say cucumbers? That's green peppers. Uh, what's the... Cu oh, cucumbers are for making pickles with the onion onions. All right. Uh, we'll just activate everything. All those need sugar. And what I need to do is... Uh, wait. Let me check on the apricot. So I should be on distributing... But they didn't go anywhere because, well, they, the factory wasn't accepting them currently. So I just want to make sure everything else is on. Tomatoes are on selling. Well, we want those to be distributing. Uh, lettuce, that can be sold. Green peppers needs to be. I'm on activate, deactivate like an idiot. I need to be over here. Uh, that needs to be on distributing. Cucumbers need to be on distributing. Onions need to be on distributing. Uh, so lettuce can keep on selling, right? Because I don't need that for anything. I don't see where I would need it for anything, but... And then our other greenhouse tomatoes we need to put on distributing. 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 All right. Yeah, and I do need to buy fruit and vegetable fertilizer, but uh, the money is getting kind of low. Well, let's come over to here and... We'll grab some of our... 
Uh, in cab. I'm not going to be able because I can't see the forks at all. Whoa. Not sure exactly what happened there. Um, are you saying I can't pick those up? Or are these just for show? So maybe I don't have to move them. Maybe they'll just move on their own. Oh, I can't pick those up with uh, super strength. Super strength is turned on, right? Yes, it is. Well, we'll see what happens with those. Um... <laughs> All right, I thought there were going to be pallets I picked up and had to bring over and put into the factory. Well, there goes that idea. Uh, let me come over to here. Do I have anything that spawned that needs to be moved over? I don't think so. Let me turn on these zone markers. So distributing should be there. There's nothing there. Or spawning area. There's nothing in the spawning area. So everything should just go right on over. If we just fast forward time to the top of the hour. All right, and I go back into here. Uh, let's see. Lettuce. That should be on selling, actually. Um, but everything has been moved out of there. So what about the current ones that are there? At the orchard. Okay, the plums are... Distributed? Alright, we got plums. Okay, the plums came on over. Uh, the pears. Wait, we don't... We don't okay, so the pears? I don't have anything in here for pears. Okay, the apricots went over. All right, so the pears I should just be having on selling, I guess. When's the best time to sell pears? Maybe let's hang on to them. Uh, pears in August. 5.30, Uh Since we're not actually getting any more pears because we are in fall, so we're not getting any more fruit until spring and summer, uh, we can keep those there. And, oh, the pallets that were outside, they have disappeared because they got distributed. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so that's all set. So now we just got to go ahead and wait for, uh, like I said, I don't think we got any sugar yet. But uh, let's see here. Where is the sugar? Actually, we got 435 liters of sugar already. So we are making everything. Why are we not making catch? Oh, we don't have any apples. Um, all right. Would it be better... If I turn off apple juice, we'll deactivate apple juice. It'd be better if the apples went into making ketchup because that way it'll use tomatoes and peppers. And we're better off making that. All right, I think we got everything all set the way we need it to be. Uh, yeah, I think we're all set. So this will go on through. Uh, so our production buildings are all running. We got our sugar plant up and running. Let's get back over to there real quick. So we got a sugar plant, and of course we got some storage for sugar cane. And that should be able to allow us to be able to store 1.1 million liters combining these two here. The question is, is that going to be enough for this one tiny little field? It should be. It should be. If not, well then we'll, we'll have to take care of it uh, next episode. Um, but like I said, we, we will... Get some of this uh, sugar cane harvested in between episodes, and we'll finish up the beginning of the next episode. We can see our totals, and uh, if we need more storage, well, we'll figure it out. Maybe even I don't know. I, I can't bring myself to sell the sugar cane when I can make a profit out of it by doing all that. Uh, and then with the money I got left, I'm going to need to buy fruit and vegetable 
fertilizer for our greenhouses and orchards, which is going to make us pretty much bankrupt. So, yeah, and then we'll have to see about uh, this beast right here. If it's still there, I don't know. I, I, I really think I should be saving my money for buying more fields, uh, taking on a loan to buy a tractor, which is not going to benefit me currently when I could go ahead and get more fields. Oh, yeah, and I got to plant wheat this month as well. All right, I got, I'll be doing some financial thinking why I am harvesting the sugar cane. Uh, it's what I need to do. It'll give me some time to think. But anyways, uh, if you made it this far in the episode, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you liked what you saw, maybe think about hitting that like button. Helps out the channel more than you know. And if you haven't done so already and think about doing so, may as well hit that subscribe button as well. But that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Western Australia. But until then, have a good one. Boy, that sugar cane grows awfully tall. <laughs>